This video is brought to you by Gamefly, which lets you rent video games online and basically play them as long as you want. And when you're done, you send it back and you get another one. They've got titles for Xbox, PlayStation, Wii U, uh, Nintendo Switch, you name it. So if you want to save some money, you like to play games, click the link down below. You'll help out me and you'll help out yourself. In the meantime, on to the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're taking a look at something truly unique to every individual performer, your pre-show ritual. Whether just running through your lines, doing yoga, drinking some liquid courage, or enjoying some soap operas, we all have that routine, possibly self-consciously, that helps us settle down and get the job done. What's mine? Sorry, but you'll need a court order before I can tell you that. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. Obviously, there's just as many quirky pregame warm-up routines as there are performers. For the purposes of this video, however, we'll be focusing on the 10 weirdest ones I could find online. See how your freakiness compares. Number 10, Mumford & Sons. When this band needs to relax before a show, they light up some Palo Santo incense to soothe their throats and calm their nerves. Lead singer Marcus Mumford insists that the fumes from the South American wood is the only thing that helps ease his headaches. Number nine, Passion Pit. Right before every show, these guys bastardize the Scottish language by yelling, Root to scoot, mate! Apologies to all Scotsmen everywhere. Number eight, Eminem. Keeping it healthy? Eminem likes to lift weights and eat six Lunchables before a show. Gotta replace those electrolytes somehow. Number seven, Led Zeppelin. Despite their legendary history of partying hard, this band earned its spot on this list for its current weird behavior of drinking coffee and tea while ironing their clothes, which leads us to... Number six, Alice Cooper. Continuing the theme of what happened to rock and roll, this artist likes to warm up before a show with Skittles and Kung Fu movies. No more Mr. Nice Guy, indeed. Respect my authority. Number five, Keith Richards. One more from the classic rock files. Keith will not go on without a shepherd's pie. Specifically, an untouched shepherd's pie. Once, a member of the crew broke the crust first, and Keith wouldn't go on until a new one was made just for him. Guess he didn't get any satisfaction from it, huh? Number four, Foo Fighters. Not that we'd expect anything less from Dave and the boys, but they really crank the dial on pre-show fun and games. Not only do they drink shots of Jaeger to get ready, like four or five at a time, but they do it while dancing to Michael Jackson's Off the Wall. Number three, Marilyn Manson. What merits a number three spot on this list? How about Marilyn Manson? Listen to Justin Timberlake before going on stage. Number two, Pink. Some people say performing gives them an electric thrill. Pink likes to get an early start by having her friends pinch her nipples right before going on stage. Kind of reminds me of someone. And the number one weirdest pre-show ritual I found online is... 
Number one, Kesha. How do you get the number one spot on weird and wacky pre-show rituals list? Try covering your and your dancer's naked bodies with olive oil, then rolling around in glitter. Nope. Be careful though, that stuff gets everywhere. So what'd you think? Would you have arranged the list differently? Did I miss any famous musician's strange backstage behavior? Is your routine before going on stage stranger than that? Let me know by taking this poll and I'll make another video in the future of the top 10 local musician pre-show rituals. Fair warning, if nobody takes the poll, I'm making stuff up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you found it slightly hilarious. Please, please make sure you take the poll. Please, please remember to subscribe and click the bell. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click up here. Remember to be amazing, stay safe, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.